Hello. Haven't seen you in a while. Looking good. Um, all right, well, my first March favorite just introduced himself. Um, he's an Italian Greyhound. His name's Mr. Bingley, like from Pride and Prejudice. Jane Austen fans out there? Yes, he's Mr. Bingley. Ooh. I have to talk to him like that. Ooh, you're a Ryuk. That's a that's that's my language for dog. Ryuk. Ryuk. Yes, and he loves to cook. We went to the Sephora in Times Square, which I had never been to, even though I've been to New York a couple times. Um, and it stays open till midnight. I got the Lancome Dual Finish Matte Bisque 2 um, Versatile Powder Makeup. It's just their powder compact. Because I've seen Michelle Phan do a lot of videos with Lancome, obviously, and her skin always looks awesome. I mean, her skin is really awesome, but I just... She sells it, right? So, it just looks like that. And um, it smells really nice. It smells like old-fashioned makeup where it has that sweet kind of like how CoverGirl blushes used to smell. It's kind of sweet and perfumey, which I don't mind. Another favorite is another thing I got in New York. Every time I go to New York, I visit um, Bergdorf Goodman, and I go to the Paul and Joe counter ever since I discovered it, like, last winter. Um, no, last spring break. Wow, oh my god, this was the week I was in New York and discovered it. Crazy, and I, like, saw my friend Henry, and we saw the strokes at Madison Square Garden. Wow, that was, that, I can't believe that was a year ago. Anyway, this year at Paul and Joe, they had a really cool line out. Um, inspired by Manhattan. Um, it is the color palette. Oh, I don't know. It's it's number one. Here's a palette. It's really, really messy. But um, it has cool, well, it had geometric shapes imprinted. You can see them. Imprinted on the shadows. So there's a, a sparkly, shimmery white. Um, then there's like a shimmery, really, really shimmery gold. That's the one I'm wearing. Um, there's a blush that's really pretty. There is a kind of pea, there's a, like a plummy color, a shiny plum color, and a brown shimmery color. They're all shimmery, so that's what I'm wearing. You really can't see it, but it looks really nice. I like how their makeup looks really old-fashioned. It reminds me of like makeup in the 50s and 60s um, with that like Asian-inspired um, packaging, and it just looks very like European and fresh and clean. Another thing I got at the uh, uh, Times Square Sephora was the Naked 2 palette. You guys have seen this I'm sure but I like my uh, I like my original Naked palette so much that I gotta try this one because honestly I've only been using that palette in this. Another favorite is something else I got from the um, New York Times Square Sephora. I needed a primer and so um, cause I've been using the Paul and Joe primer, but, uh, it's a little drying and I said it has that effect of like, it, it's, it's a little drying and it feels dry and I kind of, now that my skin isn't so prone to breakouts, I wanted a, I don't mind a silicone based primer because my skin's a little bit less prone to breakouts. It's more about hormones than what actually goes on my skin. So I'm, I'm better with that now. Um, so it's the um, Too Faced Primed and Poreless SPF 20 Bronze Tint Skin Smoothing Pre Blah 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 Blah. It's a primer. And it has a bronze tint. Voila. Ew, that looks gross. But it has a bronzy tint. Um, I would recommend anybody with olive skin or darker to get this if you like silicone based products. If things like the Smashbox Primer and everything break you out, don't get it because for a long time that messed with my skin really badly. But now my skin is okay with things like that, doesn't react, so it's working very nicely and it, it, it's a nice canvas for my skin. Anybody with not yellow undertones to their skin, I would not buy it. Um, even my mom has pretty golden skin. She has pretty golden skin anyway, and uh, she, would, she used that, and sometimes it, she feels like it makes her look orange. So if you have an olive complexion, oh, you're just a star of the show. I would buy it, but if you're any lighter than that, if you're fair or pink or anything, I would not. No, you got to, you You know what? You need to just calm down, please. He's really feisty. Calm down. Another thing uh, that I've been loving is the Nicki Minaj uh, Viva Glam lipstick. It's the most neon lipstick I've ever seen in my life. You can't see it on camera um, as vibrant as it is. Well, yeah, you can. it's very vibrant. But I mean neon. Like, I mean almost 
almost a little bit of that neon coral color. With a deep skin tone, it looks awesome. And with fair skin tones, I can see it looking cool too. But you just got you got to try it on. Um, and I don't wear it that dark. I just put it in the center and blot it out, etc. But it's awesome. I love it. And I love Nikki, so. Something great for the winter. My skin, I think my skin's maturing finally. It's kind of moving out of like the teenage skin time, which is weird because I'm only 17. But it's my, it's a little, like I said, it's less prone to breaking out. It's uh, kind of reacting to the weather and reacting to environments more normally, not like crazy teenage skin. Um, it got a little dry, got pretty dry actually, uh, in the winter and when I went to Palm Springs. I was reading online and it was like, the desert air is going to suck the moisture out of your skin. I was like, I don't believe that. Well, it, it did. Um, my friends and my skin got really, really dry and like, grossly dry. Um, and so, this Paul and Joe facial treatment oil, like, saved my life. Um, I'm just showing you this because of the packaging. Yeah, it's got to sniff it too. What do you give it? Ten points? Yep. Uh, so it just looks like that. It's got the pretty packaging, which I love. And it's a really, really thick oil, and I never thought that I could use an oil on my skin, but now that my skin's a little more combination, maybe not even on the oily side, I can use it, and it's great, and it just makes your skin glow, and it's it smells like orange. A lot of their, because they use orange flower in their products, so it smells um, very citrusy and summery, and it feels great, and oof, it's it's not... I, it's an oil, but it's not oily, you know, it doesn't leave a gross residue. But if you have uh, oily, prone to breakout skin, no, 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 no. But if, if your skin's normal and uh, you have dry spots, perfect. Another thing I've been loving is something I got in the winter from that Glitter and Ice line from MAC. Uh, it's a 130 brush, special edition. It's a flat, um, dual bristle brush. And I just really like it for blending in foundation and in little spots, etc. It's really nice and um, it's really, really pretty. Two of my favorite lip products this month have both been plush glasses. And I didn't previously own any plush glasses until a couple months ago when I bought this one. And I just recently bought this one when I bought the Nikki lipstick. Um, this one's Big Baby. And it's nice. It's, it's kind of like a nude pink, but not too light for my skin tone, because I can't do the washed out nude thing. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I hate when people do this. Like, Do you see? Do you see it? See? Isn't it pretty? Like, I can't see that. Um, but, yeah, it's, oh, let's put a little bit on. Not like it makes a difference, but it just feels nice. Um, yeah, so that's really pretty. That's Big Baby. These are from MAC. And then this one I just got on a holiday. It's from a new line. I don't remember what the line is. It's just neon pink uh, with, with blue and pink sparkles. And it goes with, um, it goes well with the Nikki lipstick. It doesn't actually go with it. Um, a lot of people say plush glasses hurt. Um, if your lips are sensitive, even lip venom doesn't hurt me. I mean, I don't, I guess my lips just aren't sensitive. But a lot of people say that lip plumpers hurt them. Um, I think it, it smells great and feels great. And even when he wants to kiss me, can't touch. You can look, but you better not touch. Next product I've been loving is something I got in New York as well at Bergdorf Goodman. It's the YSL Voile de Blush. Um, it's a gel blush. And it's really light and peachy. My mom got a darker color that shows up a lot more pigmented. This one is three, it says on the back. Um, pretty YSL packaging. It's just plastic though, and it has the YSL thing at the bottom. Um, it goes on so light, um, so it kind of just gives you that um, straight back from the beach when your skin's a little pink because you've been in the sun. That's what it reminds me of, at least on my skin. Anything darker than my skin probably will not show up because it's very light. But I like it that way. So it's good for summer. It feels very cooling on the skin. Um, doesn't feel like it's blocking your skin and the nice thing is it kind of dries out qu it dries quickly um, sometimes gel products like I know cream blushes from MAC stay sticky the whole day at least on my skin I mean I haven't tried them since my skin's been changing but at least they're not flattering on me but this dries really nicely last but not least for my favorites are my new glasses uh, you guys have seen old videos half of them I've deleted I know you guys are probably like where did they go but some people just think they're weird, so I took them down <laughs> to avoid any drama. Slash I'm going to college, so I just want to make sure anything like really extraordinarily strange is, is, uh, is not on there anymore. But these are my glasses. 
I know you've seen me in glasses before, but these are sick, nasty glasses. Um, they're Kate Spade. This is the cool case they came in. And they open up, and I love this. They come with a cleaning sheet and then the eyes. So when you put your glasses in, oh, I'll give you a close-up. Um, they're kind of like tortoise shell, plum tortoise shell. They remind me of Buddy Holly glasses, except his were thick, and they went all around. These are a little more feminine because they're thick up here and then just... Uh, just a little wire. The bad thing is they have these things that get caught in your hair if you put them up, but whatever. Uh, yeah, because I, see, now they go on her eyes. I was going to get these Dior thick glasses like that, that kind of are that Buddy Holly 50s kind of style, because I really like them. Um, but they were thick, and they looked a little heavy on my face, because, I mean, I don't have a small face, but I have small features. Like, I have, I have, like, little eyes and little forehead and I guess I do have a little face pretty much a little face so these were much more feminine and flattering on my face but I love him yes and so I just want to give you an update on what's going on in my life uh, I've been really busy I always say that but I, I have been college decisions um, are hard I'm working on my album which is really exciting um, I'm recording it here in the Chicagoland area and it's it's a five song EP and um, it's going to be awesome. Some of the songs on it are Armageddon, Little Prince, 8700, um, Anaerophobia, um, and a song called Shut Up that I don't think, unless you've been to one of my shows, you probably haven't heard. So that's exciting. Uh, I want to figure out if I can tour a little bit this summer, um, if I can get around and do some shows to promote the album and just get more people to know my music outside of the Chicagoland area. I'd really like that, and I love touring, um, and I like traveling and playing for people. So anyway, let me know where you live, not like your address, but like where, what area would be convenient for you if I came, and if you would see me, etc. Um, so hopefully the album is going to be out really soon. I'm going back in the studio this week to, um, to finalize everything. All the, everything's basically recorded, all the instrumentation, the vocals, um, and uh, I just have to make sure that I like everything, and it, it all meshes together. And then we've got to do like a, a shoot for the cover and figure out an official name for it. Um, and I, I have an idea that I think it's going to be, but I don't want to tell you. <laughs> um, also, more updates. Well, not really updates, but I'm graduating in June um, from high school. Ah! And I want to do something crazy because it's graduation. And I've gone to schools all my life where you're not allowed to do anything crazy with your face or hair or whatever. So I, I just want to do something crazy. So um, I'm thinking... Well, I've been thinking about this for a while, and uh, I know a lot of people kind of go crazy a after high school because they just want to go crazy, and they make a lot of mistakes. But I've been thinking about these um, things for a while. I'd like to get my nose pierced, and I know my mom has an Indian friend, and she has her nose pierced, and she said you do it on the left side, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember she said left side. Um, so I would just get a tiny little stud, right, like, there. well, it doesn't really matter where, right there. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't, I would never get like this septum or like, I mean I might wear a ring if I'm like going to a party or something, but I think the stud is more my vibe, usually. Also, I would like to dip dye my hair this summer. I think it would look sick, but I don't know because my hair isn't black and it's not blonde. So um, black kind of goes, goes well, okay I'm Canadian, black kind of goes well with any color, you know, but, and blonde you can just dye easily. Um, my hair is just dark brown and so I'm going to have to like bleach it. However, here are a few pictures of things I would like to do to my hair. Um, I'm going to a lot of festivals this summer, so it's going to look sick nasty. Something like that. Can you see the colors? It ha I mean, it has teal, pink, purple, something like that to the, just, just maybe start here. And um, what else? This is pretty sick nasty too, but it's on blonde hair. But something like that. And uh, tell me what you guys think about the piercing, whatever. If you've had experiences, the dip dyeing, whatever. Um, yeah, so I, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to a really good summer. I'm hoping to get my music out there. Uh, and, um, and yeah, I'm just excited to, to enter college and begin a new chapter in my life. And I hope you guys can stick with me uh, there. But yeah, okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video, I know it was really long, but thanks for watching and um, hopefully if my schedule clears up, I'll be able to make another video for you all. Okay.